What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and that means it's time for another episode of What's New for Blue where I inform you of a brand new physical media titles you can expect to see in your local store and also online. Now normally I leave criterions for last but for this coming Tuesday I am mentioning them first and I have to sing Criterion because one of the new Criterion releases is probably the most anticipated of the entire summer and that is Raging Bull on 4k as well as Blu-ray and also Summertime on Blu-ray. Now I've never heard of Summertime I did read the description. It does sound pretty interesting, but I'm going to pass for now, and that will be a potential future pickup for me. But on Tuesday, I'm hoping that it's going to be in stock. I'm definitely picking up Raging Bull on 4K. That is my number one criterion pickup of this month for the sale. I really want this one. And so hopefully if that one's in stock, I can make this coming Tuesday my criterion trip. So I'm looking forward to getting that. All right, next up are a couple of steel books. We have Indiana Jones, our next installment of the Indiana Jones franchise, coming to us on a much better 4K steel book, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and also Angel Heart on 4K Steelbook from Lionsgate. Now Lionsgate sent me my Steelbook early, a week early actually, so thank you so much Lionsgate. I do not need to worry about getting that in the mail. And then Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Yes, I will be picking this one up because I am recollecting them. These steel books are so much better than the white janky box set. I've already talked about that. And Temple of Doom is my number one favorite Indiana Jones movie. I know some people probably disagree with me, but I find it highly entertaining, so I will definitely be picking that one up as well. Moving on to Domestic Disturbance on Blu-ray, as well as Georgia Rule on Blu-ray. Now, I'm not really interested in Georgia Rule. It doesn't seem like a film that I would really gravitate towards, so I'm going to pass on that one. But I did put in my pre-order for Domestic Disturbance. I don't know, seeing Vince Vaughn in like a creepy, weird kind of role besides Psycho, because we all know you can't remake Psycho. That was just a mistake. So to see him in kind of like a crazy whacked out kind of part I'm interested in. I'm interested in that and plus John Travolta I haven't seen a movie with him in it in like forever so why not support both of these actors and getting domestic disturbance all right next up is safe men I pre-ordered this one as well simply because my man Sam Rockwell is in it but also it's ten dollars right now over on Amazon and also through Blu-ray.com. So that's part of the reason why I picked this up. Sam Rockwell is the other reason. And then also Basketball coming out on Blu-ray as well. I personally am not interested in this one. I will pass. I know some people really love this movie. So excited it's finally coming to Blu-ray. I believe it's the first time on Blu-ray. I know a lot of you out there are excited, but it's just not my cup of tea. All right, now we have a couple of favorite comedians of mine. We have Chris Rock and also Steve Martin in Down to Earth and also Leap of Faith on Blu-ray. I'm not going to get either one of these titles. I love these comedians, but I'm not really, like, wanting or needing these movies. Honestly, I just... I just, I don't have a need. I don't have a need for them. So I will be passing right now, unless they go on like some kind of massive sale, then I might consider it, but definitely not right now. Next up on the list is Rough Cut, a Paramount Presents Blu-ray title, and also Baby's Kids on Blu-ray. Who remembers Baby's Kids? Please raise your hand because I do. I remember Baby's Kids, but that's nostalgia. I won't be picking that one up, even though I do remember it. I will pass on that title. And then Rough Cut, I've never personally heard of it, so I'm not going to be going for that one either. Now we have Star Trek Lower Decks Season 2 on Blu-ray, as well as the $6 million Man Complete Series on Blu-ray. I don't have a need for these either, so I will be bypassing these as well. I'm not really sure where we're going to see these items, possibly at Walmart for the $6 million Man but I'm not sure if they're going to have it on Blu-ray because you know Walmart, they favor the DVD format. All right, and finally, for our regularly, regularly released movies and TV programs, there we go, Batwoman, the third and final season on Blu-ray, as well as Killing Eve season four. I believe that's the final season as well on Blu-ray. 
who thinks I should start watching Killing Eve? I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about it. But I won't be picking up either one of these because I just don't collect TV shows on physical media. I use those for streaming services. So now we're getting into the movies that you're probably most likely gonna have to order online or probably find at Walmart on DVD format. So we have Wolfhound, Black Sight, and The Twin. There's also Mondecane, Montana Story, and The Beatles Get Back. Finally ending with The Frisco Kid, Steel Justice, and Terror Circus. So those are the brand new physical media titles coming out this coming Tuesday. So let me know down below, what criterion are you picking up? Are you going for Raging Bull? Are you going for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom Steelbook? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.